Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to give you a list of important JPA, Java Persistent APA interview questions. It will be really helpful for you to start your JPA interview preparation. Let's see the questions. What is JPA and its key components? What are the advantages of J Java Persistent API. What are the some of the main features of JPA? What is the difference between persistent.xml file and hibernate cfg.xml file? What is an entity manager? What is an entity? Entities like uh, Java class, like Pojo class, it will be corresponding to your table in your database. So it will have columns, like it will have an attributes, attributes list it, that those attributes will be. Ha will be uh, will be corresponding to your table columns why to use jpa you don't have to deal with sql queries or you don't have to you don't have to closely understand um, what is happening in the database you have to deal with jpa and your poja classes so whenever you want any to any row to be read fr read from the database you can just ask jpa can you give me this entity class that's it so it will do the sql query and it will fetch the data and it will push all the attributes in your entity and it will give you the entity persistence what is embeddable class is what is persistent fields and what is persistent properties explain life cycle of a jp entity it has pre persist post persist pre remove something like this in the in the life cycle what is jpql explain example of an entity with embedded class how to insert a record mechanism using JPA how to fetch a record using named query explain at entity and table these are annotations to mention your POJO class and mark your po POJO class and uh, what is the table that it corresponds to okay what are the different types of multiplicity in in entity relationship there are four types actually one to one one to many many to one and many to many so explain one to one mapping a relationship in JPA explain one to many explain many to one and may explain many to many mapping relationship in JPA what is the difference between joint column and mapped by joint column comes into picture uh, the for example a parent class and child class so parent class you are mentioning the foreign key constraint okay the joint column uh, it's like having a prop having a foreign key in your table the parent table so join co join column is like you will have an extra column in the parent table okay which will contain the foreign key for the child table okay and mapped by is like uh, it is used for uh, the inverse relationship inverse reference so for example one to many you have and from the child from the child table also you want to uh, fetch from the parent table then you need a mapped by when to overwrite equals and hash code methods in entity class if you if you have multiple uh, attribute as a key then you need a hash code and equals method otherwise you will have a du duplicates explain unidirectional bidirectional relationship that's what in the unidirectional uh, in the bidirectional relationship mapped by attribute will will be uh, playing an important role so bidirectional mapped by is very very important what are the different types of cascade operations for entities cascade is like parent i am deleting the parent row should i also uh, cascade that operation to child or not so if i mark cascade type all that means whatever operations done on the parent it will be apl applicable for the child okay what is mapped by mapped super class when to use so you have an indentation called mapped super class uh, you have a base class for for example a is the base class and b c is the subclass you don't want a table corresponding table for the a class but you want the attributes of the a class okay then you need a mapped super class it is just a super class in the in your java application but there is no corresponding table in your database that's where mapped super class comes into picture what are the different types of ent entity inheritance mapping strategy single table where you'll have for each class you'll have single table joint table and table per class S single table will have it will be like 
for the two class you will have single table and table per class it's like for each class you will have a each table uh, explain single table per class hierarchy strategy table per concrete class joint subclass strategy what is compound primary key can we have an entity map to more than one database table how explain yeah we can do it please read through uh, annotation called secondary table at secondary table then you will understand how we can do it what is the annotation used to denote the field that field is large object you can have at lob what if I want to use the Java persistent API outside of the ja Java W platform what is a JP entity primary key explain the life cycle methods of for a JP entity pre persist post persist pre remove post remove and these are the methods for involved in the life cycle for an JP entity what is JP named query what are the different types of generation strategies for the values of primary keys auto strategy identity strategy sequence strategy and table strategy okay these are all for primary keys so you don't have to deal with generation of the primary keys if you mention this strategy it will be automatically generated by the JPA what is auto generation identity generation sequence generation table generation strategy explain art sequence generator in JPA it's like you can give the initial value and allocation size explain the index management in JPA and the corresponding annotations are index indices and unique so the idea here for this video is to give a list of uh, JP interview questions so that you can start preparing for the for your Java interview hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation thank you and all the best if you like this video please press the like button and subscriber button thank you